Waking up at five o'clock in the morning is never easy. Unfortunately for me, waking up at 5.30 in the morning made my life better. No matter how tempted you are, do not hit that snooze button. I can't believe I believed everything we had but less We young and naive of me to think she was from your best Silly of me to dream of a day having your kids Love is so blind it goes right when it's wrong I can't believe I fell for your schemes all smarter than that I'm in naive to believe that with me you're a changed man Foolish of me to compare I was filming that whole time and my mic wasn't even on so I'm gonna try to say this without my camera battery dying but I just finished my Pilates class as y'all saw um, I like to do Pilates on Mondays um, because Mondays like just the hardest day you know so I'm like let me do something I really enjoy I love Pilates I've been doing Pilates for about two weeks since I moved to Atlanta back in 2022 I've been doing Pilates so I love I love Pilates and I love this little studio it's so cute it books up really really fast so ooh, let me book up next Monday's class I'm not sure if I'm gonna be here because I want to go visit my parents but we'll see so yeah um i was saying earlier before my mic wasn't on that there was a girl parked in front of me absolutely gorgeous black girl driving a all black big body g black bands i'm like yes girl get it like talk about inspiration and like i said she was absolutely gorgeous so i'm like i wanted to say something to her but she was talking to one of the instructors so i'm like okay I'll let you just talk, you know, but <laughs> I'll let you talk to you. I don't want to bother you, but I hope I get to see her again because I want to say something like she's so gorgeous. Um, usually I go to, this is on right, usually I go to Publix after I work out, but I went to Publix late last week and pretty much got everything I needed, I think. So I think I could just go home. Yeah, usually I go to Publix right after my workout on Monday mornings, but or whole foods depending on where i'm at but my my schedule was all messed up last week so i didn't get to go to like thursday so i don't really need nothing i have all my fruits i have my egg whites i have everything i need essentially so yeah let's take it back to the crib good morning as y'all saw i woke up at I actually woke up a little bit earlier i woke up around 5 15 actually around 5 25 ish just because this class was so early, I still ended up being a little bit late, but this class is like six o'clock on the dot. So I tried to wake up a little bit earlier, but my usual wake up time is around 5.30. I went to my Pilates class, as you guys saw. Saw so y'all in the car after my workout. It was a very good workout today. It usually is. I love Pilates. Like I was telling y'all in the car, I love to do Pilates to start my week. Just to like get my body moving, not doing anything too strenuous not really like burning myself out first day of the week you know i think i just i love pilates for one so it is a great way to get me out of bed in the morning sorry i'm still like getting over a, like a thing i don't know what it is i'm not contagious though so that's why i still went to class i'm not contagious but i've just got this throat thing going on the past couple of days very annoying but um my hair is sticking out like that. Just as a tip, I, I'm a night owl at heart. My parents are night owls. My grandma's a night owl. I could call my grandma at 11 o'clock PM and she'll probably answer the phone because she's awake. <laughs> like, it runs deep, okay? So I did not think that I was the type of person that could wake up at five o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning to go work out and then like get my day started. I never thought that that was me. Never in a million years thought that that was me. I just figured, you know what, I'm a night owl. Like, I'm just, this is the way I'm gonna be the rest of my life and that's okay. 
But I realized that for one, if I wanna get my body moving, if I wanna work out, I'm gonna have to do it in the morning because if I don't do it before like noon, it's just not happening. Like if I'm not in the gym, in the class, at the whatever before noon, it is not happening. <laughs> and then on top of that, like because my schedule is so busy, you know, I'm doing the influencer thing, I'm in school, I'm doing all these things. Like I need to be productive. I need to be more productive. If I want to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish, I'm in a season of my life where I'm gonna have to do some things that I maybe don't really wanna do. I'm gonna have to do some things that are very hard. Waking up at five o'clock in the morning is never easy. It is not, I've been doing it for about two, three months now. It has never been easy. It's not getting any easier. It's still hard. But the thing that gets me out of bed is one, signing up for a class that if I don't go, if I try to cancel late, they're gonna charge me, right? I use ClassPass, so for most classes, the late cancellation fee, like within the 12 hour window before class starts, is anywhere from like 14 to like $28. And a missed reservation is like 30 bucks. I'm not trying to pay that. So I'm gonna get my ass up and go to this workout class, like for sure. That's what gets me up out of bed in the morning. So if you're that type of person where it's like, it is a struggle to get you up out of bed in the morning, but you want to get out of bed in the morning, that's the key. If you want to do it, it's not for everyone. Not everyone wants to wake up early and that's totally fine. You know, we don't all have to do it. To be you don't have to wake up early to be productive for the most part like i don't know for me i don't know unfortunately for me waking up at 5 30 in the morning made my life better but it might not be that way for everyone some people genuinely do not need that some people can do things late at night and be fine but with my schedule and everything i have going on it just does not work out that way for me and another thing that really helps me get out of bed aside from the fact that they're going to charge me if i don't go is the fact that i actually enjoy workout classes like I like the gym, but it's kind of harder to get me to go because it's just me. I don't have like a gym partner or anything like that. So it's harder to like push myself to go to the, the gym. But a workout class, like I really enjoy. Like I just want to show up and have somebody tell me what to do. Last year I had a personal trainer, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I would just show up those days and do whatever she told me to do. And I loved that. Unfortunately, it, was just, it just was no longer in the budget when I started school. I realized that the best thing for me to do when it comes to working out is to pay someone for me to just show up and tell me what to do. <laughs> like, that just works for me. I will go to the gym, you know, by myself maybe one or two days out of the week. Strength training is how you really see the changes in your body, right? So that's my two tips for anyone who like wants to wake up early in the morning but feels like they can't and they don't really know how to or where to start. One, you're gonna have to start going to bed a little bit earlier. That's, that's for one. Do something in the morning, whether that's a workout class or something totally unrelated that you enjoy doing. Something that you enjoy doing that's going to get you up out of the bed in the morning, plain blank period. Either that or find something that's gonna charge you if you don't show up. Hey, it's about 7.30, so I'm going to continue getting my day started. Let's go. Me personally, before I get in the shower, I'm gonna wrap my hair up. I'm gonna wrap it back up. I didn't sweat too much, so I can just take these sweatbands off. And another reason why I like to do Pilates early in the week is because it is a very, like, I don't sweat very easily. I don't want to sweat my silk press out <laughs> immediately to start the week. That's just not what I want to do. So I like to start the week off with the lighter, um, lower intensity workouts. And then I, as the week goes on, the workouts get more and more intense. So Fridays, I have the most intense workout, which is berries. It is extremely intense. If you don't know what berries is, look it up and ask yourself, why does Janelle do this to herself every week? It's because I want to be fine, okay? I'm trying to get summertime fine. <laughs> that is why. I'm going to wrap this around my head just to lay my edges down. This shower cap is the best thing or one of the best things that has ever happened to my hair. It's reusable, it like seals, you know, any, it seals everything in. So there's no water getting in this thing. I just, I just have to put y'all on. It's in my Amazon storefront, if you wanna get one. And it's so cute, like look how cute it is. Look 
bow and the bow is not even the bow's like messed up this this one is kind of raggedy that i got from like this i this is like the second one that i've purchased and something is off like it's a little raggedy but it still it gets the job done yeah one thing i forgot to mention is that when i'm driving to these workout classes or whatever um when i'm driving to my workout classes in the morning I listen to this podcast called Habits of a Goddess. We're so lucky everything comes easy. I meet the right people at the right time. I meet the right people at the right time. I meet it's just manifestations, essentially, um, like phrases. I forget like what the actual term is. Yeah, I think I think it was really helped me a lot. Um, so shout out to the Habits of a Goddess, girl. I'll link the podcast in the description box down below if you're into that kind of thing. I think that. Whether you're religious, spiritual, whatever, I think that these manifestations kind of go hand in hand with like prayer and stuff like that. Like this is just an added like on top of that. Like you just saying these things out loud so that the universe, so that God can hear you saying these things about yourself that are good, that are, you know, for affirmations that's the word they're affirmations yeah I, she has all types of different affirmations so you know you can find the ones that resonate with you she also does one at the beginning of every month so like this month i was listening to the march affirmations i was listening to the march affirmations this morning but you know on other mornings i will just scroll through before i drive off and pick one that resonates that resonates with me for that day and you know not every single one of her episodes resonates with me so there's some that i've never ever listened to i just think that and you don't have to listen to that specific podcast if it's not for you i think affirmations have played such a huge role in my overall just like self-confidence and just life in general like i feel like your words have power essentially so when you're waking up early in the morning or when you're waking up in the morning or even before you go to bed at night and you're saying these affirmations you're saying these wonderful amazing things about yourself you are bound to eventually believe them like even if you don't believe them right now you will eventually believe them <laughs> you keep saying them to yourself over and over and over again for weeks weeks and weeks for days on end, for weeks on end, you will eventually start to believe, yes, I am successful or I am amazing, you know, whatever. Those are those are really basic affirmations, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Like eventually you start to believe yourself. Yeah, I really like to do those every single morning while I'm driving to my workout class. I just think it has had such a positive effect on my mental state. So if you don't already, do something like that and for me it's really helpful because i don't always know what to say i kind of get stuck on like saying the same things over and over again so listening to someone else like listening to a podcast where that literally every episode has something different really helps me to like spice it up and give it some variety you know what i mean and also really tailor it to whatever i'm trying to work on for that day or that week or whatever like i'll try to listen to the same episode for the entire week or something like that i hope that this routine is as relatable as I am trying to make it out to be because I know a lot of these routines are a lot of these videos are made by people who are full-time influencers most of us are not that most of us have nine to fives or we are students or we're both <laughs> keep going in circles round and round I can't keep going so loving you so when i'm getting dressed for the day i work from home personally so it is very easy to just it's very easy to just like want to be comfortable and not get ready for the day but for me i have been attempting to be just a little bit more put together um regardless of if i'm working from home or you know whatever like i do everything from home my work is from home my school is from home everything is from home i don't have to go nowhere if i don't want to <laughs> so I, I just have on this like my outfit online black tee it's very soft it's very comfortable but it's still you know it's still cute it's, it's a regular black tee but like it's it's a little cute and then I, I have on like these regular flare pants you can't really see them but they're from Target but they're still obviously very comfortable 
I look like I'm in the house, but like I look a little put together, you know? Spray a little bit of my Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I love this perfume. I'll never get tired of it. I don't care how old I am. I will be rocking Flower Bomb. Loving my bob. Everybody got bob now, child. You see how I start trends? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I definitely saw somebody else get a bob. I was like, oh, let me get a bob. That's actually a lie. I got it on a whim. Maybe I did start a trend. Who knows? So, oh yeah, a little hair update. Um, well, you should have already seen my last video of uh, me trying out Beyonce's sacred hairline. Make sure you go check that out. It is already up. Yeah, so like I said, I like to just get just a little put together. I'm not doing nothing crazy because I am just not that girl who's about to put on a full face of makeup to sit at home. Some people do it, some people do it. You know, I know they have meetings and stuff like that. So they'll put on a little bit of makeup or whatever, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. I don't have any meetings or anything, so ain't nobody gonna see me but me and my boyfriend. So I'm not too pressed. Just a little bit of concealer. I'll do my eye. Ooh, can I do my eyebrows? I need to go get a little eyebrow pencil. Not much of a difference, but I look a little bit more awake, a little bit, my face looks a little bit brighter, you know? I've been really loving side parts lately. I've been doing middle parts for like three years now, but lately, loving a good side part. I'm gonna use my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I love this stuff. Between this and the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm, I am obsessed. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is the look. This is the look for the day. She's eating a little bit. She's giving professional. What do we think? What do we? Um, the hair is very soft. Again, you need to go watch a sacred review because it's a good video. <laughs> Just go watch it. Support your girl. Now I'm gonna make breakfast. I usually. My boyfriend's usually home at this point, but he went to the gym a little bit later today. But I usually make us breakfast. Um, but today, I don't know if breakfast is going to be really that extravagant. I think I'm going to keep it simple and just do like a avocado toast situation. But here's the look. This is the look. I still got my lights in here from filming the sacred <laughs> review video, but. Everything. I'm really loving the bob right now. She's growing though. My hair is really growing fast. Okay, so now it is time for me to go make breakfast and then really start my day. It is 8.40, so for my work from home girlies, this schedule is gonna work perfectly for me. And mind you, I'm moving slow because I'm filming, so it's taking me a lot longer to do things. If I wasn't filming, it would be like eight o'clock right now. <laughs> Cause I got home, my workout class ended at 6.50. I would've got home by seven and in and out of the shower by 7.30. But it is now 8.40 because I'm moving very slowly <laughs> because I'm trying to film. But assuming that you're not filming your morning routine every day, you should be, be ready to go by eight. So if you are a work from home girly, now you have an hour to like eat your breakfast, take your morning slowly. That's the best part of waking up early for me is really just taking my morning slowly. Um, I don't like feeling rushed in the morning. I spent so much of my time just waking up and running out the door. So much of my life, of my working professional life, waking up and running out the door. And I don't do that anymore. Granted, I don't have to work in an office, so I don't have to go anywhere, but it still helps that I'm not like just waking up and turning on my laptop because I was definitely doing that like during the pandemic or during lockdown I should say because we still in a pandemic y'all. It just taking your morning slow really sets the tone for your day. It really helps you feel more relaxed, um, less anxious throughout the day in my opinion in my humble opinion. So that is like what, like the number one benefit of waking up early for me is taking my mornings slowly and intentionally. I think one thing that, one tip that will really help the girls who especially have to go in office or maybe you have like a meeting at 9 a.m. <laughs> if you work from home or something like that. Something that will really help is a breakfast that you have meal prepped from the night before. So instead of trying to make breakfast or trying to stop for breakfast on your way to work, 
doing something like overnight oats or I don't know if you can do boiled eggs the night before and have them ready for you the next day or you know something like that something that you can just take out the fridge or whatever and go you know um, that will really help you save time in your day me I make breakfast most mornings but I am now thinking that I should start you know doing some like overnight prepping for breakfast because I don't want to have to make breakfast every day to be real with you <laughs> so I'm gonna start doing overnight oats again I used to do them a lot when I was in college so that's just another tip if you really want to save time in your mornings and especially if you have to commute to work or school in the morning every day then an overnight prepped breakfast like overnight oats or maybe you have like a protein bar and a banana and you like you have a coffee maker i have a coffee maker so i don't have to like go buy coffee anywhere that's going to be your best bet that's going to be a great way to save time in the morning and some stress you know you don't even have to think about where you're going to eat you just it's already ready to go breakfast today is going to be egg whites turkey bacon and avocado toast another tip for you guys as i wait for my turkey bacon to thaw out or a few other tips just a couple of things that i do in the morning to ensure that I have a good day essentially is to one, drink a cup of water as soon as I wake up. I didn't show you guys that because it was dark in the room. I didn't want to wake my boyfriend up by turning on the lights, like let's be real. Um, two, I do not look at my phone except to turn the alarm off until at least an hour after I've woken up and by that time I'm already in my workout class. So like I don't even look at my phone until, what are they doing? Oh, they're changing the billboard. <laughs> I don't even look at my phone until I've come back home from my workout class, I've showered, sat down, eat my breakfast, and then I look at my phone and I'll maybe start scrolling to look for emails and answer comments for my videos or whatever, scroll on TikTok for a little bit. But I try, I do not, I try not to wake up and immediately start scrolling on my phone or anything like that. A third tip, if you are trying to wake up early in the morning and it is a struggle for you, do not hit that snooze button. Do not, listen to me, <laughs> do not hit that snooze button. Your body cannot do anything with that little extra five minutes of sleep. That little extra 10, 15 minutes, your body can't do anything with that. In fact, it is making you more tired. It is making you more tired because apparently, I think your body needs like a full 30 minutes of sleep to actually go through the cycle. I, there's something to that effect of like, you need at least an hour and 30 minutes I'll put the exact time frame right here. You need this exact amount of time for your body to go through the entire sleep cycle in order for it to actually be effective. And most of the time we're hitting the snooze button for five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Your body, you're just essentially just like waking your body up out of its sleep halfway through like a sleep cycle and that's not good like that's when you feel the most tired so no matter how hard it is no matter how tempted you are do not hit that snooze button don't do it you're making it worse you're making it harder for yourself to wake up in the morning I usually like to add spinach to my egg whites, but my boyfriend does not like spinach in his eggs, so no spinach today. <laughs> Confirm our uh, 
So just like a quick recap of my day, right? So I woke up at about 5.30, ice roll my face to really wake myself up, reduce some of the puffiness from sleeping, and apparently also helps reduce anxiety as well. I rinse my face off with cold water, I moisturize a bit, take down my hair, put on my workout clothes, head to my workout class, and while I am driving to my workout class, I listen to my Affirmations podcast, which the link will be in the description if you're interested in that. Go to my workout class, come home. Sometimes I stop at the grocery store, sometimes I don't. Come home, take a shower, do my skincare, do my body care, do my hair, put on a little bit of concealer, a little bit of eyebrows to make myself look presentable for the day, make my breakfast, and start my day. So this routine will be really good for anyone who works from home and doesn't have like a very strict 9 a.m. start time. You can get all of this done before 9 a.m to be quite honest with you. If you don't want to like bleed into the morning hours of like nine, 10 o'clock, then you can do an overnight breakfast. I highly recommend that. And then a couple of tips for waking up in the morning. Don't hit that snooze button. Do not look at your phone. Do not scroll on that phone. And plan something that you really enjoy doing for when you wake up so that it is a bit easier for you to get out of bed in the morning. Oh, and drink your water. Drink your water as soon as you wake up. Drink some water. Just leave a water bottle or a glass of water on your nightstand next to your bed so that it's ready for you as soon as you wake up in the morning. It has all sorts of health benefits. It's good for your digestive system. It's good for your metabolism. And it's another thing to help you wake up. <laughs> so um, yeah, shout out to all my night owls out there who are trying to become morning people. I know that it is hard. It is difficult, but you can do it. Because if I can do it, you can do it. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other helpful tips, for becoming a morning person when you are the opposite of that leave them in the comment box down below and subscribe to my channel we do all kinds of fun videos on beauty fashion lifestyle glowing up from the inside and out i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye